So let's talk about electrocardiograms, EKGs or ECGs. Uh, Diamond Fernandez here, your founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic. And so when should you get an ECG? I've done previous videos where I talked about are you having a heart attack? That's a time when you definitely want to do an ECG to see if you're actually having a heart attack. But getting an ECG just on a preventative basis at your doctor's office, the majority of time is a waste of time. And, and, and I think it's uh, kind of a, a waste of time doing ECGs or electrocardiograms at doctor's office because it, it's only a six second snapshot of your heart. And the reason why is that the technology nowadays, I mean, I can grab my phone out and I can, I can see what my rhythm is doing right away. And so where an ECG is valuable, let's talk about that. If you're having symptoms of lightheadedness or symptoms of heart disease, that could be uh, something to consider that way. Uh, so that's where an ECG might be valuable. And in that case, we're looking for, I don't want to get too technical here, but we're looking for rhythm abnormalities is the reason why you're feeling lightheaded or symptomatic. If you're completely asymptomatic, in my opinion, it's not that valuable. And more importantly, you know, what are we going to do about it? So it's not valuable to do an ECG going to your doctor's office. And people think that, oh, I had an ECG, I'm good. Well, it's just a six second snapshot of your heart. And it doesn't tell us that much about your heart disease risk. Now, there are different types of umbrellas from heart disease. We talk about structural disease, uh, electrical, and plumbing. But arteries are not um, a pipe, they're a muscle. Of course, we'll go into that in subsequent videos. And so when we look at those things, we're looking at the electrical umbrella. And there can be a lot of electrical abnormalities that people can end up with heart disease. The most common, of course, is atrial fibrillation. But then you can have premature atrial contractions or premature ventricular contractions. And then at the Hartford Clinic, we like to find out why. Why is that the case? What's going on with you specifically is that doing that? And doing an ECG, um, you know, the majority, and I'm talking like 99% of the time, it's a complete waste of time unless you are symptomatic. And so that's the importance with doing ECGs. Uh, again, I welcome any questions, comments, or observations. Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic. We look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.